Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I did a full face wet n wild challenge. It was a challenge to myself because I wanted to use all wet n wild products and all wet n wild brushes. I made it work because I didn't have all the brushes that wet n wild sells. But if I couldn't make it work with a brush, I used my fingers. And it was actually really fun to do because I thought I was going to have to tap into my brush collection, but I didn't have to, and I'm really excited. And this is a look that I came up with, and I think it turned out so nice. I love Went Wild. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands. If you want to see what products I use and what I think of them, then just keep watching. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is start with a setting spray. I don't have a Wet n Wild primer, so I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to spray my face with it to make the foundation stick a little bit more. I know that's strange, but I feel like it'll make the foundation stick better if I prep it with something. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation. Foundation, that was foundation. I have a Wet n Wild buffing brush. I don't have the name for it because once you throw away the packaging, there's no name on the brush, but it looks like this is a flat top. It's not really that dense, it's soft, but I'm going to go ahead and use this to blend this foundation in. Alright, for concealer I'm taking the same Photo Focus concealer that I've been using in my last few videos. By the way, I'm just going to skip talking about the products in my video because I always list them down below, so what's the point? Just shut up and write it down in the description box. I'm also going to use this to kind of highlight a little bit more in areas that I want to stand out. And I also conceal blemishes with this and like redness that I have. Okay, so that's as good as it gets with that brush and then I'm just taking my fingers and blending that in. Looks good. Okay, now I'm going to take a powder and I'm going to set my face with this. Sorry, looks like that. This is also going to add a little bit more coverage. Next is eyebrows. This is going to be a first impression. Everything that I've used so far, I've already used before, but I've never used this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. I'm going to try this for the first time on camera and then I will follow up on whether I like it or not, how I feel about it. So it comes with a wax and two colored powders. I'm probably going to use both of these. It comes with this tiny little brush. It's like an angled brush and also a tiny tweezer thing. The tweezers don't work. Since I don't have an angled brush, I will use this. I think they sell one, I just don't have it. <laughs> we shall see. I'm going to run the wax through my eyebrows and this is just going to help the powder stick and kind of add a little bit of hold to your eyebrows. So I'm just going to take both of these colors like that and see what happens. All right, take it easy. What I'm really worried about is that I like to run a spoolie through my eyebrows to comb them and to distribute the product evenly. But I don't have a spoolie, so I might just be using my fingers. I have a spoolie, it's just not wet and wild. Okay, so far this is looking okay. I think it looks a little bit more harsh than I usually do my eyebrows. But they look pretty bold and that's okay. The cool thing is that it's doing a nice job shading my eyebrows. I don't know if it's the wax. It really helps the powders cling to my brows. Cool. I like that actually. <laughs> don't mind this at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this contour kit thingy and I'm going to take this brush. Again, I don't know the names. And I'm just going to start bronzing my face. I'm not contouring with this. This isn't a contour shade. But it's a very beautiful bronzing shade. I love it. Oh, okay. Need to blend that in. So make sure you tap off the excess. Apparently this powder is very pigmented, so be careful. Okay, for blush, I'm taking... <gasps> Why do I keep wanting to tell you guys what I'm using? It looks like this. It's apricot in the middle, whatever. We'll just roll with it. And I have always loved this, br this brush. This blush. I've had this for a while, so this isn't like a new product or anything. Neither was the contour kit. Next, I'm doing eyeshadow. 
Um, and I don't have a matte shade to work with because I'm gonna be using the Comfort Zone palette. Um, it looks like this. And they're all very beautiful shades, but there are no mattes. So what I'm gonna do for my transition shade is I'm gonna use this um, bronzing shade. And I'm gonna take that on a fluffy brush. By the way, these are $1, and I love these brushes. And I'm gonna go in with that, and I'm gonna go in my crease. Let's take this eyelid shade, this one right here, and I'm gonna put that on my lid. I had no plans for what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. Alright, so I'm taking the same brush and I'm gonna go into this definer shade right here to deepen out the outer V. Let's see how this works because I never ever use a brush like this ever to work in this area right here. So I'm gonna work very slowly so that I can build this and not, not ruin it, hopefully. Okay, gotta blend this out a little bit. I'm taking the fluffy brush and I'm not adding any powder on it, I'm just blending it. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, again with that fluffy brush. I will say that these shadows blend so nicely that even though I was terrified of what I was doing, this is turning out better than I expected. Before we go on with more eyeshadow, I'm going to add a an eyeliner in the shade Sima Brown Now. That's, I like that name. Okay, so I'm going to tight line with this. Okay, so I've never used this eyeliner before, so I don't know about staying power or anything like that. I swatched it on my hand earlier and it wiped off pretty easy, so I don't know if I have high hopes for this. Brush. I really need a pencil brush to go under here, but I'm gonna use the same shader brush that I used to apply my shadow. I'm gonna use that to smudge some eyeshadow underneath my eyes. And I'm gonna go in with this definer shade again. And I'm gonna start from the outer corner and see what happens. I'm taking the fluffy brush again and I'm going to go into this bronzing powder. This is just going to diffuse the shade that I put in the first half of my eyes and also tie the look together. I'm gonna add more of this crease shade. All right, now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and I'm gonna use brow bone shade and I'm just gonna use my fingers with this. Cause why not? Holy guacamole, okay. <laughs> that is intense. Okay, so I'm just going to take this fluffy brush and I'm going to Try to diffuse this a little bit because it was more intense than I want it to be. I'm going to take the same brush and I'm just going to go on my inner corner. This so since I don't have a highlighting brush, I'm going to use my blush brush to highlight. And I've never used this before. I've never even swatched it. So... But I heard really good reviews about this Mega Glow Gold Bar. And, okay, let's just go in straight with the brush. I'm not swatching again, like I said. Oh, that's pretty. With this brush, it doesn't add it. It doesn't um, create a very crazy highlight it's more of a natural look but this is probably because this blush is very I keep calling it a blush this brush is very big and fluffy so it's not going to add too much product in one place so I'm building this even though I heard that this was intense but I will have to go back in with my fingers and see 
palette swatches because obviously this is the first time I'm using it so it might just be the brush I'm using or my technique I don't know but either way I really like it actually I'm going to do a little chin action here nose mostly I just want to look hydrated and I feel like highlights help me achieve that look it's beautiful it's just I'm not a in your face like from outer space highlight but I really like it so I also bought a, a different one mega glow highlighting powder in the shade blossom glow I already have this formula in precious petals and it's probably my favorite highlight of all time so I'm just going to take another fluffy brush this is the same fluffy brush but it's not what I've been using on my eyes it's a new one I have three of these and I'm gonna and just like hit the top of my cheekbones. Wow. This is intense, especially with a precise application like this. I already knew I liked this formula anyway, so I don't know why I'm so shocked. I really don't think this mascara is gonna work out for me because there's no product on the wand. Like zero. I just don't think this is gonna do anything. Yeah, there's like no product really. I mean, of course there's a little bit coming out, but like for that price, just spend a couple of bucks more and you can get your a L'Oreal Lash Paradise and it will make your eyelashes look like fake lashes. So what in the world, Wet n Wild? Like what is this? This is called the Max Volume Plus and there's no plus in this. It's a minus. I'm sweating now because I'm upset. Well, I'm not going to go in with my Lash Paradise, but don't buy this mascara. It's horrible. There's like literally <laughs> no product coming out of this tube. Like, what? How many ounces were supposed to be in this? <sighs> okay, I was being really dramatic about the mascara, which is still not my favorite and I will never reach for this, but it's not the worst. Thing. Like, if this is the only mascara in the world left, I guess I could make it work, but just for the price, it's like $5. You could get so many other better mascaras just for a couple of dollars more, so don't even bother with this one. Um, the eyes are not the worst thing. I mean, the eyelashes, they actually turned out better than what I expected because that mascara was just highly disappointing. But I made it work, and I think it turned out okay. All right, now for lips, I'm going to go in with the shade Spiked Rum. These are amazing lipsticks, and they're so inexpensive, and I love them. Okay, so. The shade. Do I look like Bette Midler or Medler or whatever her name is from Hocus Pocus? To perfect the lips, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this gel lip liner. I said perfect the application. Last but not least, I'm going in with that setting spray once again to set my face this time. 